Cowboys are good at a lot of things. And like anything else in life, cowboying gets better with time and practice. Meaning, old cowboys are really good at a lot of things. But even Superman has his kryptonite. And I am here, living, breathing truth, that cowboys' kryptonite is shopping. This 17-year-old free-spirited child is here to tell you today about a special grocery shopping trip with a 67-year-old cowboy. And yes, while cowboys are truly great at a lot of things, they are not great at shopping. Keep in mind you, this shopping trip goes on with an old cowboy who does happen to be my boss and employer. How did I ever end up in Walmart, Salina, Kansas with my employer? Well, on a normal day at the ranch, it is not uncommon to travel and travel up to the north annex of the ranch to doctor and take care of cattle. So on this particular day, we were doing exactly that, traveling up north near Delphus to doctor and take care of cattle. On our way up to Delphus, however, we stopped off the interstate near Walmart. No questions asked. We pull into the parking lot, hop out of the truck, and as we're walking into the store, I say, Sir, what do we need here today? He says, Well, I'd like to pick up some lunch. This is where the shopping trip begins. As we're walking into Walmart, we walk directly past the grocery carts, only to walk into the store and find our first item, which is pre-made foot-long sandwiches. After selecting the sandwiches he would like, he says, Tyler, where's the cart? I say, well, sir, you never told me to get a cart, and I didn't figure we need one, seeing as how we only need a few items. So we set the sandwiches down, go all the way to the back to the front of the store, grab a cart, come all the way back, grab our sandwiches, and I figure, great, it's time to go. We've got what we came for. However, instead of going to the checkout aisles, he takes a turn and goes further, deeper into the store. Again, no questions asked by my part. I follow him further into the store of Walmart. On our way through the store, we grab a few special items like chips, ranch, including more sandwich meat. Mind you, we've already bought pre-packaged sandwiches, leaving the question, why more sandwich meat? However, I don't ask why we need more sandwich meat, I just follow along. Here we are clinking, clunking, and dragging mud, crud, and everything else through the store of Walmart. We grab our total of, I'd say, five items, and it is time to leave. So, on our way back up to the checkout aisle, we stop, grab two sweet teas, and are on our way to the checkout aisle. As we get to the front of the checkout aisle, he reminds me, we need ice. Two bags, he says. Two bags of ice. Simple enough. After scanning all of our items through the checkout aisle, he realizes he doesn't have his wallet. So there I am standing in a line full of three soccer moms behind me, all angry by the fact that I'm holding up the line as my boss is traveling out to the parking lot to pick up his wallet to pay for these groceries. I'm standing there and he finally gets back, scans all the groceries, pays for the groceries, load them in the cart. Awesome, we've only got five things, let's get out of Walmart. On our way out of the store, he grabs two bags of ice and begins putting them in the cart when a Walmart employee comes up and says, Sir, may I please see your receipt for these two bags of ice? Here's the next mistake. He didn't tell the cashier back when we paid for the groceries that we needed two bags of ice. So, upon showing him the receipt, he realizes we don't have a proof of purchase of two bags of ice. So, we go all the way back into Walmart. I'm standing out front with the cart. He pays for two bags of ice, comes back, we load the two bags of ice in, and we finally get the heck out of Walmart. It isn't until we get to the parking lot and I begin loading the groceries into the truck that I realize why this trip is so special. 30 minutes later, we walk out of the store and I'm putting the groceries in the backseat of the truck when I begin realizing the amount of length of time we spent in the store. We were in Walmart for over half an hour. And this is significant because I'm beginning to realize what all we purchased. At the end of our half hour in Walmart, we had purchased three sandwiches, two bags of ice, two sweet teas, and a bag of chips. Yes, old cowboys are good at a lot of things, but they will never be good at shopping.